Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure. We've got another busy day, day five of spring. So let's jump right into the action. Okay, so first an unskippable cutscene here. Uh, so we've got a couple of goodies here because Marnie said our name. That's cool. And Marnie is about to offer us a pet. So I don't know what happens if you say no uh, to having a pet, uh, but I'm going to say yes. I like dogs. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, Yogi, you bet. Feel free to personalize that name if you'd like. Okay. So we're back in business here. Let's take a look at the uh, list. It says make a copy of the save file. So here at day number five. Uh, I did that already. Drink some coffee. I'm going to do that right now. And then check the mail and make some bars. OK, so let's do all of those things. Uh, so the coffee is number six. So let's drink some espresso. Check the mail. Uh, lost a thousand gold last night. Uh, okay, here's an important note that says that the mine, which is in the far northeast of the game, is now open. Thank you, Jojo Martin, for all that you do. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and ship uh, the uh, prismatic shard and the legendary fish. And let's go ahead and make some more gold bars. They take a while. I think we'll run out after we do 12 of these things. And, uh, and then we'll make some, um, let me see here. So we've got 67 iron, 45 copper. Let's keep making iron bars. I know I, I said I like to uh, kind of keep those two numbers the same, but the copper bars happen so quick uh, that I think it's, uh, it's better to, to do the longer term stuff here. Can I move? I'm stuck. Is there something in the way here? Indeed. All right, problem solving 101 right there. Okay, so continuing down here, just doing lots of planting stuff. And then, not, not planting stuff, lots of uh, mining, like ore uh, stuff, making bars. Okay, so um, the next step is uh, to uh, harvest the parsnips. Now, I am going to harvest the parsnips. Uh, we do have uh, a deadline here. We want to leave the farm by noon to get a cutscene, which only happens until 1 o'clock. And then we've got uh, some stuff to do in the cave, not very much stuff. And then uh, we've got more planting things to do. And then we've got another deadline here. We need to get to the uh, secret forest by 8 p.m. So, but I do think that there's time for me to fix uh, or complete some stuff that I intended to do on day four, but I ran out of time in the video for yesterday's uh, session. So um, we're back up here. That's what I'm going to do. But first thing I'm going to do here is... Um, is is put the rest of the um, crab pots in. So I think I said I was intending to put five of these things here. There we go. And then might as well bait them. Okay, all good there. And then I will go ahead and, and grab the, the stuff here. So I'm left holding and that picks the thing up and it also baits. So each of these things is now baited. Excellent. Okay, the other thing that I intended to do is kind of a longer task in real time. It doesn't take that much time in game time, uh, but it's to organize uh, the chests and all of our stuff. So uh, let's point out uh, that the intention of my, uh, my chests, the, the layout, is, uh, is this uh, five rows of six with a gap in the middle, and then one row at the bottom of seven, which at the moment is kind of messed up because I goofed in terms of where I put the coop. So um, these particular chests, I'm going to make specific colors. So let's go ahead and follow the, uh, the chest plan. That's, uh, that's one of the tabs here. So if you take a look, uh, most of these tabs are alphabetical. And I did go through all these tabs in one or more of the introductory videos to this series. Uh, but the first few are not alphabetical. The uh, perfection, miscellaneous, and then daily plan. Uh, and then I put all items here in, in this group of four. It's really important, these four. And then the rest are alphabetical. So taking a look at the tab with the chests, you can see that I've actually put a layout here where it's uh, three chests and then a blank space and then three chests. That's row one. And then the same thing here for row two, row three, row four, row five, and then row six is the one with all seven chests and no gap in the middle. Um, and so let's go ahead and, uh, and start coloring uh, these chests according to my scheme here. Now you don't have to follow my color scheme or like the kinds of things that I put in the chest, but anyway, it's a, an option for you if you wanna start here and then modify it to your liking. So we want red and then black, dark brown is the default color, and then blue, orange, orange. So let's go in and start playing with these chests. All right, so back up here. 
First one is red, so we right click to open, and then up here at the top is the collection of colors. You can you can experiment with the different colors. You can see them right there, uh, red, and then uh, the next one is black. So nope, not that one, but this one up here. And then I've already forgotten uh, blue, orange, orange. Okay, so blue. I don't know which blue. Let's try that blue there, and then two orange ones here at the end. I don't know. How about that one? <clears throat> that actually looks kind of like the. I'm not sure. Doesn't look too far from the uh, like the dark brown, the normal brown, but we'll go with it. Okay, next row. Uh, three yellows and then three browns. The three browns you don't have to do anything with. But uh, three yellows right here. And I'm going to pause the video as I color the rest of these uh, chests, and then I'll come back and start organizing the chests. Okay, and I'm back having colored everything except for the bottom row because I just messed up the bottom row, and some of those chests are going to have to shuffle around later on anyway. So didn't bother coloring the bottom row. That one's kind of in flux. Uh, all right, uh, in terms of the colors that I picked, I, I tried to pick things that were kind of uh, reminiscent or reminded me of uh, stuff that's in the chest. Uh, it didn't always work out. Uh, but for example, uh, this thing with the ores and the bars and the coal, like coal is black, so I picked black for that one. Um, cooking, uh, I made yellow. I imagine like getting up on a bright Sunday morning and, and making a, a you know leisurely breakfast. Um, uh, crafting is brown. Uh, furniture is pink. I don't know why. Some buildings are white. Uh, gifts are red because you love people and that you give gifts to and your heart is red. Uh, oranges for fruits. Green vegetables. Uh, pink flowers. Um, and then uh, red for like the Super Mario mushroom. Uh, I don't know why I picked light gray there. Uh, light blue for the fishing, like you're ca catching the fish in the uh, lighter parts of the water that are light blue. And then fishing related stuff is going to go in the dark blue um, chest. And then uh, some mining things are dark brown. And then I don't know. Don't know why I picked those colors. But uh, feel free to, uh, like I said, mess around with the colors or the, uh, the stuff that I put in the chests. Uh, but I, uh, I did... Uh, I did get uh, the basic idea here with this setup from uh, this this um, Reddit person, and I modified uh, their work. Okay, so we've got the chests, and now what are we supposed to do with them? Well, now what we're going to do is uh, gather a whole ton of stuff. Uh, so let's head back up to uh, one of our two chests over here and fill our inventory. Just everything here, any order is fine. Okay, so totally full, all 36 spots. So uh, I can see that the bars are finishing up. That's not as important as what I'm doing here. So we'll let them all finish up. Okay, so I'm going to work my way through and put each of these items into the right chest. And every single item should have a chest that it belongs to. So uh, this bamboo pole is a tool, but it's not the current tool. It's an old tool. The fiberglass rod has replaced the bamboo pole. So if I go to my list of uh, chest things here, I can see that right down somewhere, right down here in the bottom row second from the right it says old weapons pink all right so let's put this thing in the bottom from the right chest second one from the right uh, and again the, this bottom row is messed up okay then we've got fish a whole bunch of fish and uh, and so the fish you can see here they go in these uh, two light blue ones in the last row with the gap so let's just put some fish in here where are we fish Fish, 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 all the fish can go in here. Uh, clams we'll throw in there. Coral is more of a forageable. Even clam is a forageable, actually. Let's take that out. Uh, sea urchin, that's a forageable. We got fish, we got fish, we got fish. Okay, all good there. Uh, all right, so uh, next thing uh, were the forageables. And so you can see here that the light gray, just to the left of where the fish goes, is the forageable section. So right here. So we'll put the forageables in here. Uh, that muscle is a fish. We should have put that with the fish. Um, okay, all good. I think that's everything there. Let's put the muscle where it belongs, right there. Okay, uh, we've got the telephone. The telephone is uh, part of my, like, I, I probably am going to grab this and take this with me on a lot of trips, and that's what the top left chest is. It says tools, uh, bait, bombs, food, torches, weapons, all the things that I essentially pick from on most time, most trips away from the farm. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone there, and I'm also going to put all of my tools up there temporarily. I'll put the uh, the trout soup. I'll keep the coffee just in case I need it. Put that. Uh, I'll put the bait up there. 
and uh, that. All right, I think that's good. Uh, and then you can see we've got like wood and bars and ore, and all of these things go in the very next chest, the black one just to the right here. So let's open up this chest, and I'll put all the ore, and we'll put the stone, and even the wood, uh, the coal goes in here, all of these things in there. All right, uh, and if you hit organize, then all of these things go into alphabetical order, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then this uh, piece of trash, actually, probably I could just throw it away, but uh, just for the sake of collecting, I'll throw it here in the uh, fishing related dark blue uh, chest. So let's put that right there. And then we've basically got an empty, uh, whatchamacallit, backpack. So let's start filling it up. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this one as well. Okay, so all full there. And now let's head over and start putting things away. So I'm carrying a fish, and I know that the fish go in the light blue ones here. So let's start putting all the fish in here. Uh, seaweed is like fish adjacent. We'll put that in the, uh, the dark blue one. Uh, okay, halibut, that's fish. Clam, no. Fish, fish, fish. Okay, very good. All right, I think that's everything there. Now let's put the fishing related stuff. So we've got seaweed here, we've got algae. The broken CD came from fishing, it's trash. There's a Jojo Cola from fishing also. Trash, uh, the clam is more foraging than fishing. So I think that's everything for fishing. Uh, the foraging was right here. Put the clam in there. Uh, the stone goes up here, in the black one. Um, in fact, uh, because we already have stone here, there's another button we'll show you. It says add to existing stacks. If you click that one, anything that's in your backpack that already exists, like a carbon copy that exists in the chest, uh, will get sucked into the chest. It only goes one way. It's only going up into from the backpack to the chest. So this 305 will get added right here on top of the 549. Just like that, 854. That's pretty cool. Okay, um, next up, uh, we've got a beer. Uh, so this beer uh, was a uh, was purchased as a gift, and we do have a uh, couple of red chests right here with gifts. So let's head right over to the red chests right there, and we'll put the beer. Uh, the cake is also going to be a gift, um, and then let's keep going. So the sap and the mixed seeds and the fiber all came from um, the farm. And so they all go right here in this dark brown chest in the top row. So let's head right up here. So that one, that one, that one. I think even the clay I put in that. Where do I put the clay? Nowhere. Put it right in there. Um, okay, so the clay goes up there. Oh, cookies. I guess uh, that's uh, that might be a, uh, another gift there. Uh, also, uh, seeds are going to go into this, this same, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, same chest. So let's cut this. Sorry, you get to watch me edit. It's fun stuff. Okay, so we'll put the seeds up here as well. Um, and then uh, we'll put the uh, cookie. You could put it in the cooking, but I think it's going to be a gift at some point. So we'll just put it right here. And then finally, the frozen geode. All right, we haven't seen one of those yet, but that goes in the bottom row. It says uh, mining things right here. The uh, third chest from the left is something, uh, including geodes. So let's put the frozen geodes in the third chest in the bottom row right here. Okay, cool. Uh, and then uh, keeping an eye on the clock, because I do have to make sure I get out of here by noon, but I think we're in good shape here. And we'll make our last trip. Cool. All right, so all those are empty. Uh, I've got some seeds in my pocket, so I know I can put them right here. Uh, and again, I like to put them in the same order. Uh, let's do this. Anything goes up? Yep. Um, all right, so let's put some seeds. Cool. Uh, okay, and then uh, we'll keep going here. We've got a fish that goes in the bottom row, or the bottom complete row, I should say. Uh, all right, and then we've got some, uh, oh, another seed. We forgot about that one. Let's put the pine cone right in here. Uh, and then we've got some foraging stuff that goes right in here. Uh, so the common, uh, actually, the mushrooms go elsewhere, but the uh, daffodil is foraging, the morel is foraging, the wild horseradish is foraging, another morel. Okay, mushrooms are like these red Super Mario mushroom things. All right, that's cool. And then a lot of this stuff goes up here. Actually, I think all of it goes right up here. Uh, again, you can do add to existing and it, and it grabs all the things that were already up there. Uh, and then we can organize. And then I think even the hardwood goes up there as well. 
Okay, so I feel kind of naked without all my tools. So let's grab my tools. The axe first. I will put the phone second. Yeah, we'll just grab them in this order. That's cool. All right, uh, and we don't need the watering can maybe ever. Okay, so uh, thanks for bearing with me while I did all that. There's still more organizational stuff to do, uh, but we'll do that another time when things aren't quite as hectic. Um, but I think I mentioned in one of the intro videos that uh, that stuff is quite frenetic for the first two weeks according to my plan, and then we'll, we'll have much more time. Things will be much more relaxed, just trying to get things done quickly in the beginning. All right, so it says harvest uh, parsnips. So let's let's get harvesting. Uh, definitely don't want to hold your axe or any of the tools because you might accidentally, uh, you know, like destroy one of your parsnips. Uh, but here I'm just walking and holding the uh, the right mouse button. And you can see our uh, we've already gone from farming level uh, zero to farming level one. And let's keep this party going. Uh, so this one didn't grow. I don't know why that's behind by like a day. Um, it's fine, but uh, I, I think I probably, probably what that means is that I neglected to water it one day. I thought I watered everything, but missed that spot. All right, so far so good. You can see we're already up beyond, um, we're into skill level two here with the farming. That was the goal. So uh, any parsnips that are extra above the uh, what we just got there with the farming level two um, is, uh, is more parsnips than we needed. So you can see we had a cushion, even though the crows took uh, some of the parsnips. That's fine. All right, here's an important note. Uh, it says it's highly, oh, it's a long note. All right, here we go. Uh, highly unlikely that you'll have at least five gold parsnips, which is a requirement for one bundle. My plan, the plan that I'm showing you in this video series, doesn't involve planting any more parsnips this spring. And so I've accepted the fact that I'm probably not gonna complete that bundle until spring of the second year. Um, which means not completing the community center until the second year. So if you're hardcore, like you have to complete the community center in the first year, then you're going to need to do something that I'm not doing here in this playthrough. Um, so uh, keep going here. It says you'll need to plant a lot of parsnips in a separate section of your farm and fertilize them and water them either by hand or with sprinklers. Don't replace any of the seeds that we bought yesterday with parsnip seeds. Be sure to plant your parsnips somewhere else in the farm and not in our reserved area. If you... Uh, plant so this is just a, a, a to give you a sense of like what you need to do to make sure you ended up with like a pretty good chance of getting five gold parsnips so if you fertilize a crop uh, and you're on farming level two which is where we are right now then the crop has about a 12 percent chance of being gold uh, when you uh, harvest it so you can see here we got 55 normal parsnips four silver and two uh, what you call uh, gold and uh, you need five gold for that bundle and we ended up uh, harvesting, you know, whatever this is, uh, 59, 61 out of our 64 parsnips. And there's one that's uh, I think will be ready tomorrow. Uh, so we got two. Uh, and if you want more, um, uh, then you'd fertilize because when you fertilize, then your chances of getting a gold are uh, much higher. So 12% at our current level. Um, and so to give you a sense of what you'd have to do if you wanted to, uh, you could plant and harvest 76 fertilized parsnips. If you do that, then there's just over a 95% chance of having at least five gold parsnips. Uh, that's something called the uh, the binomial formula, that, uh, that probability calculation. It's well known. You can look it up. Um, uh, so then uh, and that and this uh, five parsnips is like five from scratch. Uh, I've already got two, so I only need three more. Um, and uh, and it says you don't have to plant all 76 parsnips at once. They only take four days to grow and you just need them to be completed by the end of the spring, which is 28 days. So, for example, you could plant and fertilize 24 parsnips and maybe that would get you the, you know, three more gold that you needed and then you're done. But if, if you didn't have the five gold parsnips yet, then you'd do another batch of 24 and then maybe a third batch of 24 if you got really unlucky. Again, stop planting as soon as you have your uh, five gold parsnips. Um, and, uh, and we're going to have uh, sprinklers that we will buy and, uh, and place tomorrow. And so even if you decide that you're going to do this uh, parsnip detour, um, you, uh, you don't need to do any manual watering. You just need to buy a few more sets of sprinklers. The sprinklers that we're going to get will water um, four crops at a time. And so uh, you can get six sprinklers to cover your, your set of 24 parsnips if you wanted to. And it would just involve clearing a little bit uh, of the field that isn't currently cleared. You know, maybe you plant them right over here. You just have to do a little clearing and then you plant uh, things just like we've planted. But don't replace any of the stuff here with your parsnips. OK, sorry for that detour. Uh, I'm moving on from that. Next step, it says get rid of the uh, tree stump. And again, I'm still being mindful of the clock because I got to 
we got to get out of the farm by noon, so we're getting there. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, one, two, three. So this will be another two hardwood forests for us. Grab this thing as well. Okay, that's cool. Then it says uh, retill any of the 64 spots that dried up and then till the spots where the trumps, uh, the tree stump used to be. All right, so uh, it's this thing here for tilling. We stand right here. We do that one and we do that one. Uh, if you are uh, neurotic and you want to until, you need the pickaxe. So if you just pickaxe this spot and this spot, then it'll look normal. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything we missed, any spots that dried up. Did I miss anything? Oh, uh, no, nope, that's nothing. An empty three by three there. All right, that all looks good to me. I don't think we missed anything. Okay, it's getting close to our noon checkout time. It says uh, 24, 25 cherry bombs and 10 furnaces. And we're going to take those with us. So I guess uh, we should do that here before we get out of Dodge. Okay, so uh, the cherry bombs, uh, are they not here? What happened? I think maybe I didn't reach the level I needed to to, to do this strategy that I have here. Gang, why do I keep messing up? My goodness. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the problem. I needed to get to mining level one in order to uncraft, unlock the crafting recipe for the cherry bombs. And I didn't do that. I just wasn't paying attention. Um, I've updated the plan so that hopefully we do this on day one or day two uh, by the latest, uh, but I didn't do it here in this playthrough. So I'm going to do things a tiny bit out of order. Um, I think you should get used to that in terms of playing Stardew Valley. Uh, no matter how carefully I plan, it seems like there's always some detail that I've forgotten about. So we'll do things a little bit out of order. Uh, we're not going to bother uh, crafting the cherry bombs or the furnaces at the moment. I can't craft the cherry bombs yet. We'll do that tomorrow. It says by 12, leave with uh, coffee, food, uh, bombs I don't have, furnaces I'm not going to make, uh, the scythe, the chest, stacks of parsnips. Okay, let's talk about the stacks of parsnips. Um, in terms of uh, giving gifts, uh, I intend to give gifts to um, everybody that I see whenever I see them in an effort to gradually increase all of their friendship levels with me. Again, those are listed right here in the social tab. You can give uh, up to one gift a day and up to two gifts a week, and you can talk to everybody once a day, and all of those things help. Uh, you can see there's still people we haven't yet, met yet, and nobody here has enough points, enough friendship points towards us to have a single heart. Uh, like I said, I think it's either 250 or 500 points per heart. But it's a gradual, slow process, like everything in Stardew Valley. Uh, and uh, and so the um, the nicer a gift you can give a person, the more points they will give you for giving them that gift. But uh, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and not everybody loves every gift. In fact, if you give somebody a gift that they dislike or hate, you will lose friendship points with them. So uh, what I've decided to do in general is just carry around a stack of parsnips because everybody likes parsnips. Uh, I think only one person loves parsnips. That might be Pam, uh, but everybody likes them. Uh, and so that's good enough for me, um, better than having to carry around a separate gift for every single person. So uh, so we're going to carry parsnips around. Um, the uh, higher quality of parsnip you give, the more points you get from the person. So there is something to be said for giving away, you know, gold and silver parsnips if you have them. Um, uh, but uh, for me, um, uh, if you're after this uh, this five gold parsnips thing, then for sure don't give away gold parsnips right now. I'm just going to give away silver and um, and regular parsnips at the moment, uh, and uh, and I'm going to hold on to uh, a gold parsnip for the one person who loves parsnips on spring seven. We'll give them to her for her birthday. So uh, carrying a stack of parsnips is my new normal, uh, but we are going to uh, maybe empty our chests of other stuff. Let's see what we can get rid of here. Uh, so we don't need the I don't know, fiberglass rod. So I, I guess we can we can move the uh, the wood in here, put those things up. That's fine, um, and uh, and then I'll put uh, some of these parsnips into the vegetable chest, uh, which is uh, which is down here. Either of these green ones are veggies, green for veggies. But I'll carry around the stack of parsnips. And, uh, and then we'll move on. It says, I just want coffee, food, bombs, furnaces, but we're not gonna be able to do a lot of the stuff that I've, I've listed here. So it says, walk to town through the bus stop to unlock the community center. Uh, is it possible to give this person a gift even though she's in here? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can. Okay, no problem. Um, I do want to, uh, I do want to start my next batch of, uh, of ore stuff. I know I said that uh, we had to get going by noon. Noon is a soft deadline. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's do some more of these things. It's really you got to get you got to get through a certain section by one. 
and that section is not too far away. So I think we'll be okay here. Just making lots of bars. Okay, and I see that I'm out of coffee, so let's drink some coffee. And here we go. It says, uh, head out this exit of the farm, and as long as you uh, hit this right-hand endpoint here at the end of the screen, between, I think it's like 8.30 a.m. and um, and 1 p.m., uh, then you get this uh, cutscene. So Mayor Lewis is quite sad about the state of disrepair that the community center is in. And guess who's going to fix that? It's us. It's us. Um, so as you're uh, reading through the, the cutscene here, if you want to, uh, I'll point out that uh, there's like sort of two main paths to follow, um, like a choice you have to make. You can either uh, fix up the community center by uh, gathering a ton of collectibles, some of which take a lot of resources to get, or uh, you can just sell your soul to the devil and pay cash to uh, Jojo Mart. So according to the glitch that we're using with the phone, uh, cash is real easy for us to get, and so it's much quicker for us to just pay cash to Jojo Corporation. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to collect and experience just about everything the game has to offer, except for the uh, the long cash grind, which we're skipping. How come we didn't even open the door to go in? You can feel free to skip the cutscene if you want, but I'm just showing it for the content. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, what is that back there? Holy cow. Oh, disappeared. Must have been a figment of our imagination. All right, so just about done with this cutscene, I think. Oh, there it is again. And disappeared. Lewis doesn't believe us. We're just telling stories out of school. All right, but he gave us uh, 12,000 gold worth of goodies, so that's cool. Okay, so cutscene complete. And uh, let's head to the right when we get uh, control. Actually, we're here. I don't know why we're here. Uh, I thought sometimes it usually puts me over uh, by the bus stop. Okay, so one thing we have to do, this is the next step in the daily plan, is come down here and interact with this circle thing. And I get that gobbledygook message, but you need to do that in order to get a letter uh, tomorrow morning. So this progresses the story of the community center. Okay, so moving right along, we interacted with the note in the bottom left room. And it says interact with Marlin in the cave. So we're not actually gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna do that uh, tomorrow once I've got my uh, cherry bombs with me um, and uh, these next couple of steps are, are mine steps so we're headed back to uh, whatchamacallit to uh, plant all the seeds actually uh, let's come back and, and we'll do that after uh, let's let's do the uh, traveling cart right now i think we've got enough space in our inventory yeah okay so uh, time to head to the traveling cart for the first time so we'll head right back here through town all right, so uh, let's uh, let's do our first gift type thing here. So first thing we need to do is talk to this person. Oh, uh, I think I'm skipping something. Am I sp I'm not supposed to uh, bait? All right, we'll, we'll do the uh, we'll do the baiting thing, even though it's not here. Um, no, we'll skip it. We'll just follow the plan. Okay, but I am going to give a gift here. Uh, so I want an empty uh, number nine here just to talk to this person. So I get credit for talking and not gifting. All right, Granny, and then we'll offer a parsnip. It looks wonderful. Enjoy. Everybody loves parsnips. How about you? So we'll talk to him with an empty, and then we'll give him a parsnip. There we go, slowly but surely. Uh, you don't actually have to be empty to talk to the person. You can uh, switch to a tool because nobody thinks that that's a gift. So we'll talk to this guy. Nice to meet you, Sam. Have a parsnip. Uh, interesting is not the most <laughs> warm welcome for that gift. I thought everybody liked the parsnips. This is interesting. That was good. Okay, so uh, heading out here, and uh, we're going to go to the, uh, what do I call it? Uh, secret, uh, not secret, the uh, traveling cart. So this guy right here is here every um, 
Friday and Sunday, and we're going to buy pretty much everything he has to offer every Friday and Sunday. So you can see all the different things. Uh, if money is low, uh, you don't need to buy everything here. Um, but let's uh, let's start buying stuff. Uh, okay, so uh, we got wool. We'll grab that. Tulip. We'll grab it. Uh, the horseradish. There's no need to to, to grab an, yet another horseradish. We'll have plenty. Uh, coleslaw. I don't know that it's worth anything to me, but we'll just grab it. Uh, fence is easy to craft. Sunflower seeds. Uh, you can uh, you can plant them in the summer or fall, and we'll we'll buy plenty of sunflower seeds. No problem. Summer spangle, sure, let's grab that. Battery pack, I like that. Uh, poppy seeds is another summer plant. No need to grab seeds here. Uh, cheese, yeah, I guess. Uh, the rare seed, we definitely want that. The coffee bean, um, it's something to plant in uh, spring or summer. And I don't know that we can buy them in the store. Maybe we can. Little photos, uh, I don't need to buy random furniture at this moment. Uh, but it's important when you're coming to uh, to see the, uh, the traveling cart that you have a fairly empty, I don't know what you would call it, backpack. Okay, so let's do our hardwood foresting thing here. Um, we, uh, we're saving up for a hundred hardwood. I'm just trying to put the stump between me and this guy before he pounces. Um, so we want a hundred, oh, somebody pounced. We want a hundred uh, hardwood uh, by day number seven so that we can order the stable as early as possible. And so I think that means uh, three trips to the secret forest here, plus like four times getting all of the, uh, the hardwood at our farm. All right, so uh, keeping an eye on my energy, I'm not really worried these guys are quite weak and I've got plenty of salad. Uh, but the only thing that's annoying is uh, if they hit you with that, uh, that, that slow down anti-buff type movement thing. All right, so we got it, and we're trying to get out of here, and uh, sometimes it, you can get like real stuck. Um, guys, guys, go away. Okay, so coming right over here, picking up the chair with the left click, placing it, and then hopping out. All right, cool. Um, so let's keep on trucking and take a look at the next step in the plan. Uh, so we did the... Um, See, so we had to skip all the mining stuff. We did the traveling cart, and then it says get hardwood in the secret forest and on the farm. So let's do that. And uh, and then we'll have some time to, um, to, I think, do some more inventory management. You could clear the farm, but we've got a lot of inventory that we haven't uh, really dealt with yet. So it feels like that's a, this is a good time to do that. Uh, I'll just uh, clear a little bit wood here and uh, it'll take less fewer hits with the uh, axe now that the axe is upgraded all right we'll grab all those things and then the prize of the forest farm is right here and again these things respawn every single day and uh, once we get uh, the hundred hardwood for our stable um, purchase on day number seven uh, you don't have to come back here every day but you are going to want to come back pretty regularly and uh, i did put um I did put this task in the um, the tasks to things to do when you uh, when you're trying to kill time. So uh, it's kind of mandatory to grab all these things right now, so that we can just get to a hundred just in time for day seven, a day seven construction. But then after that, it becomes more relaxed. A lot of things in the game will become more relaxed. Uh, but this day in particular is more relaxed because I goofed and didn't realize I needed to get to that mining level one. It happens. Okay, cool. I can see my coffee thing is running out. Let's drink some more coffee. All right, and uh, and then it says uh, clear wood and bushes from the farm and not so much the wild grass yet. And if you have time, you can check out the activities to kill time. Uh, so I think the, the main activity that I'm going to engage in is going to be um, organizing all of our stuff um, on our way to the, uh, whatchamacallit, to the chest. Uh, we'll just uh, come through here and we'll just hack away at some of these trees and, and the grass, but not so much the wild grass just yet. At some point, we'll have all these things cleared out entirely. We're fixing nature. All right, so this tree I want to fall to the right, so I'm standing a little bit to the left of it now. It always falls the opposite side. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll grab this one and make it fall to the right because that's the direction we're headed. And um, just doing a little bit of this on the way back to the chest. Okay, cool. Uh, might as well grab this stump for two more hardwood, hardwood while we're here. All right, excellent. And um, I am going to put a coop and a barn up here in this area north of the chest, so might as well clear the trees and bushes right now. We still have some time, and, and it, it tells you in the walkthrough when you need to have this completed by. Uh, but there's no real hard deadline on this because you can build the buildings anywhere, and then once they're completed, it's very easy to get the carpenter to move them. That's an instantaneous process. Okay, so we're running out of calories here. Let's eat up. And uh, so my plan is to just uh, clear out the rest of this area north of the chests, and then I'll do some hardcore organizing and spreadsheet management. And you're going to see what I mean here uh, when I talked about in one of the intro videos how uh, we've got lots of spreadsheet stuff to do. Uh, so I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we'll talk about that when we open the spreadsheet up. It'll be easier to explain when we have it in front of us. Okay, so I think uh, maybe I'll pause the video while I finish clearing these last couple of spaces. We'll eat some more food here. Yeah, I think it's a good time to pause, so I'll pause and uh, come back with some chest management stuff. Okay, so we're back after just another couple of minutes of chopping. This area is nicely cleared. Oh my goodness, I forgot my priorities here. I haven't planted yet. My goodness, I gotta make sure we plant. Uh, okay, so <laughs> let's go back to the plan here. Uh, it says uh, plant all seeds. That's a real important step. Uh, let's do that. Um, all right, so that means we need to uh, get the seeds into our book bag here. So I'm going to throw into this uh, middle one uh, all of this stuff. Well, actually, it's easy enough to just put things where they go. I don't have that many things. Okay, so the seed type things go right in here, including the sap. Uh, not the wood, though. Uh, coffee bean, that's a seed. Rare seed, that's a seed. Uh, we've got a few things that we don't really quite have a home for just yet. Um, we can throw that up there. All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw the wood in here, and also the ore and the coal. That's good. Hardwood goes up there already up at 60. That is awesome. Uh, we can throw our bars up here, 40 and 83. Um, and then uh, these gold bars. Do we have any copper? Yeah, 45 copper. Uh, okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and ship these three items right here. As usual, if you're low on money, you know what to do. You make some phone calls. Okay, and then there's a few items down here that we haven't uh, actually like put anywhere yet, like the flour and the battery pack and the cheese. Um, yeah, and then the animal product. So I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to throw it into here uh, as like a uh, just kind of a catch-all for stuff I don't know what to do with just yet because I do want to make sure that I uh, plant those seeds. So let's plant some seeds. Uh, I'm just trying to clear some space so that I can put my seeds uh, right in here. So they're in this one. And again, I'll put them in the same order, uh, starting with the bean starter. OK, so that's it. Those are the seeds that we purchased. And then we're going to begin with the, the bean starter right down here. Now, real important uh, with uh, the bean starter is that it grows on a trellis. You can see it says that at the bottom. And if you, um, and you can't walk through the trellis, you can only walk around it. It's like this big wooden stick. And if you are standing in the middle, we're about to plant four of these things. And if we stand in the middle and plant four of them, we won't be able to get out. And the only way to get out will be to use an ax to, uh, to get yourself out. I wonder if anybody's ever done that where they didn't have an ax with them and they accidentally got themselves trapped. I guess you just have to wait until 2 a.m. when you pass out. Um, okay, so let's plant uh, here, here, and here. Can I get this one? I think we're standing in it there, and then I'll walk out of the way for this one. Cool. Okay, so then we'll come right here and plant these things. Uh, so here I'm just holding uh, left click while I plant. And uh, here I'm not going to hold left click because I want to specifically hit these four spots. So the seeds will only go into spots that have been uh, tilled. Let's do this one here. Cool. 
and then we'll do the 40 uh, in the remaining one. So these should all disappear. We got exactly the right number. And so I'm just keeping an eye. It's hard to see, uh, like my screen is not all that. Oh, there's one that we that we uh, think we're gonna end up with because uh, of that kale thing that we messed up. We're gonna have one extra here. Okay, cool, cool. All right, uh, so I'm torn uh, just for the sake of, uh, of consistency. We'll get rid of that one and plant that. Okay, so everything is planted, all good. If you wanted to, uh, you could water all the crops. I do not want to water any more. That would be 64 more crops that you'd have to water. Um, by not watering the crops, uh, no uh, crows are going to come in the overnight. They only come if uh, the crops have, uh, have already had a chance to grow, but the crows never just grab seeds. And these will be seeds tomorrow because I'm not watering them. But tomorrow, uh, we are going to be able to craft uh, some sprinklers, the normal sprinklers. And the reason that we'll be able to craft them tomorrow and not right now is that today we went from uh, level zero farming to level two. And, uh, and then tonight when we go to bed, we will get the rewards of being farming level two. Um, and so I'm not going to farm, sorry, I'm not going to water, uh, which means that in theory I could get these crops to grow and get harvested one day earlier in the cycle, but it's not worth it to me to, uh, to make that happen. Um, we, we, uh, we will meet all of my farming needs according to this plan without doing any more watering by hand. Okay, and it says craft 36 cobblestone tiles and then place the tiles according to the map. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, so, do we have access? Yes, we do. We just need stone. So let's go get some stone. Uh, I'll put all these things back up. Oops. Back where they belong. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and, and grab some stone. That's in this second chest right here. There's the stone right there. And so we're going to make 36 of these things here. This one. Uh, cobblestone. Uh, you, if you prefer the wood path, you could try that one. Um, I think the cobblestone looks a little bit nicer. Gravel path, I think, looks terrible. But you could try any of them. You have stone and you have wood. Um, all right, so uh, what did I say? 36. So there's 25, 30, 35, 36. Okay, let's give this a shot. Uh, so according to my plan, my map, uh, I, I don't have them as cobblestone paths here, but it's these sort of light blue square things. So we're just going to go uh, straight down all the way to the bottom row, like from the top row of crops to the bottom row of crops, right along the edge. So let's give that a shot. Put it right there, equals here. OK, so I think the first one is on this square that I'm standing on. And now I'm just holding left click while I walk down. Of course, there's a chest in the way. Why wouldn't there be? All right, uh, you can get rid of chests. You can pick them up only if there's nothing in them. OK, so let's keep. Keep on keeping on here, uh, just to the, I think I went one too far. Can I get rid of this with an ax maybe? There we go. Okay, uh, yeah, all right, so that's looking good. Just make sure that I've got my things lined up. Yeah, so you want it on the last row of the crop. Okay, so let's put some more, whoops, put some more right over here. Again, starting on the last row and then just walking, not walking too fast. Perfect. Uh, so the reason that we want uh, some um, path around here is that uh, if you don't have a path, if you don't have something in the way, then uh, random, you know, uh, grass, wild grass can grow in the middle of your farming area and tree, like, you know, branches and, and little stones and things. And if any of them is adjacent to a square that you're planting on, planted on, then your, uh, your plant won't grow that night. And so this kind of keeps some of that stuff at bay. And once we've got everything filled in with these quality sprinklers here, and I've got all eight spots around a sprinkler filled with crops and not just four, then uh, nothing, the, the, no, none of the bad stuff can come in here because this is like grass and, and I don't think it can, and we're going to block the bottom with some recycling machines and we block the sides. So I think that we will be perfectly protected. Maybe stuff can come in this middle area of, of eight empty squares, but whatever. All good, I think. Okay, so we crafted, we did that, uh, we did all of the rest of the steps. So I think that what I want to do here is uh, with the remaining time, so it's 1240, I think what I want to do is get myself organized. Um, so did we get rid of these chests at the top? We didn't. Maybe I should do more planting stuff. What do you think? Not planting, more, um, more, uh, more bars. Can never have too many bars. All right, uh, so let's, uh, we've been doing a lot of uh, not copper, so let's do copper. 
So we're not going to have a lot of time for this organizational stuff, but that's okay. In fact, maybe it's not worth doing the organization, organizational stuff now since we don't have time for it all. That's okay. There's no real rush. All right. Uh, did we ever make the rest of those crab pots for this uh, Western space? I guess we didn't. I guess we need five more crab pots over there, but I don't have them on me, and I don't think there's time. Crab pot right there. Yeah, I don't think there's time really to do anything. We just get a couple more copper things going tomorrow. These ones that I get in here before we fall asleep will be ready tomorrow. Okay, so another productive day. Uh, you can see here that uh, because we got to level one farming, uh, we can now craft a scarecrow and basic fertilizer, which is definitely useful if you're going to be doing the extra parsnip thing. We also got to level two farming and our savior right here, the normal sprinkler. My goodness, that's awesome. Stone fence, uh, mayonnaise machine, we'll talk about those, I guess. Uh, foraging, we got up to level three. I don't even know what a tapper does. I guess it's for syrup and trees. And just a little bit more gold. I like how like 19,000 gold doesn't seem like anything anymore. Uh, and that is the end of a productive day number five. So don't forget to save your work. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you real soon.